1986, Georg Bednerz and Alex Müller revolutionized modern physics. At the IBM Research Lab in Rischlikon, they discovered the first high-temperature superconductor, a copper oxide compound that conducts electricity at relatively high temperatures without resistance. Alex Müller was professor of physics at the University of Zurich from 1970 to 1994. In 1987, Müller and Bednotz were awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics for their spectacular discovery of the high-temperature superconductor. Dutch physicist Kameling Arnes had discovered that metals could conduct electricity without resistance already in 1911. He cooled mercury to minus 269 degrees Celsius and observed that its electrical resistance disappeared. This phenomenon was named superconductivity. Subsequently, several other metallic superconductors were found. The problem was, however, that the critical temperatures at which they became superconductive were close to absolute zero, at minus 273 degrees Celsius. Finally, 75 years later, Müller and Bednotz discovered lanthanum barium copper oxide, a ceramic copper oxide compound that has a much higher critical temperature. Hugo Keller from the Physics Institute at the University of Zurich on this extraordinary discovery. Also für die Grundlagenforschung war das natürlich ein ein Durchbruch, weil das war ein unerwartetes Phänomen, dass man Supraleitung erstens in in diesen Verbindungen findet und zweitens, dass die Sprungtemperaturen so hoch sind. There is another phenomenon associated with superconductivity. The superconductor partially expels external magnetic fields from its interior. This means that the superconductor can levitate above a magnet. This effect can be applied practically, for instance, to enable a train to levitate above the tracks. We have here a machine. This machine is made of permanent magnets. We cool the train up, that means the train has superleitende pillen. Diesen supraleitenden Pillen wird dieses Magnetfeld der Schiene eingefroren und das erlaubt, dass der supraleitende Zug über der Schiene schwebt und sich auch auf der Schiene bewegen kann. Was der Vorteil ist dieses supraleitenden Zuges ist, dass der sogenannte Rollwiderstand wegfällt. Wir haben hier nur Luftwiderstand. The Japanese already have a train that runs on the principle of superconductivity. The JR Maglev, which is currently being tested, can reach speeds of over 580 km per hour. The Grundlagenforschung is the technical Anwendung immer etwa 50 Jahre voraus. Also, da gibt es zig Beispiele der Laser oder auch die Halbleiterphysik. Die Grundlagen werden geschaffen und die Anwendung kommen erst später. The maglev works, but implementing high-temperature superconductor technology in applications takes time. That was Alex Müller's prediction shortly after his discovery. Im Bereich des zeitlichen Ablaufes ist es sehr wahrscheinlich, dass man in mikroelektronischen Anwendungen zuerst Erfolge haben wird, während der Bereich Der Starkstromübertragung bedingt, dass man aus diesen sehr spröden Materialien, diesen Oxiden, Kabel herstellen kann. Und das wird einige Jahrzehnte in Anspruch nehmen. Despite the difficulties involved in dealing with oxide materials, there are already several practical applications of high temperature superconductivity, for instance, in energy technology, medical engineering transportation or electronics. These are all based on the groundbreaking discovery made in 1986 by Alex Müller and Georg Bednarz.